Uh, welcome to Dead Man Mode, day seven. Seven days left. Let's see how much left on the timer. Eight days, three hours here, guys. So we're going to try to finish out 97 strength. We got the crossbow drop. We're going to try to sell it for a good price for you guys. I know you guys want to use a sigil with it. So, hey. It did drop uh, about three mil. Uh, since, uh, uh, we got it. So we're just going to see how much we get it for right now. Oh my gosh. I accidentally put it in for 15 mil. And it didn't sell, guys. We're also trying to merch this fury on the side. See if we can get it going, guys. We'll make like 800k per fury if they sell for this price. Look up, got done with all my chores. Just out of shower, man. We sold the freaking crossbow for 23.5 million gold. So now, let's buy, let's let's speed through some strength levels because this is just sad, guys. We, we keep getting attacked with the red cage. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get, we're gonna train for the scythe for like over an hour, with the scythe for over an hour. It's gonna be like three mil XP per hour here, guys. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's try out the scythe this season, guys. We'll put it in the depot. We'll run all on over to the Warriors Guild and we'll get some gains on here, guys. So let's see, see if it's by for uh, 14 mil. 13.8. You drive a hard bargain. Okay, guys, we now have the sigils we want. Should we stack it with like aggression or something? But we currently have uh, Swashbuckler, freaking Formidable Fighter, and the Healing one. I'm not sure if we even need the Healing one no more, guys. Blood per charge, but it does use Blood Runes, and we only bought. Uh, 800 blood runes, so we have to go back and risk our freaking scythe again when we run and teleport back because there's no depot box. But that's fine. Oh, we're freaking 99 events, bro. We're bare. Oh, this is the final bracket, though. <coughs> and we don't have a crystal shield, but that's fine. Hopefully, we take it. Oh, dragon defender drop. We didn't even have to bring our dragon defender squad. <laughs> nice little return dragon defender. Not bad, not bad. We gotta see how much this the Void Waker is. Void Waker is actually going up. Wow, it's 6 mil. Guys, with this gear, using Pietti Fury. Oh, wait. Chivalry, rather. Uh, well, using Shivalry, we're getting like 2.3 mil XP per hour. Still worth it, guys, because, you know, almost at 97 strength. I'm not sure if max hits cap out at 97 strength. They kind of do, though for certain uh, weapons, if not all weapons. But we're gonna go ahead and grind out 99 strength uh, and like 90, 89 defense maybe. Well, let's see, we'll see guys, we'll see. Let's get a good combat level going. Okay guys, I figured that XP per hour is just not worth it guys. So we bought Berserker Ring for like 6 mil. I know it goes for around that in DMM. <laughs> and we bought a Verax Helm. Just so we can uh, increase our XP per hour here. Why not? Why not? We we got a freaking crossbow drop. So, hey, screw it, guys. We'll go back to ribs uh, and, you know, make the money back and everything. So, <clears throat> and also sell it back. Cheers. Could be the key. Just about to hit 97 string. Let's go. <clears throat> I think our max hit might be permanently increased. But now, we go for attack. I think we're gonna, we're gonna uh, go for 90 attack next. So, let's go, let's go. We're just trying to get that scary combat level so we don't get attacked inside the rift cave. This is very expensive to do, so we gotta make some money back. So let's do this uh, for like another hour. Get hopefully 90 attack. So you can spend 1 mil points and imbue your berserker ring. So now, it is charged, <coughs> so we can get the best XP per hour doing this, but now we gotta go uh, gear up, just in case we gotta tank somebody, so, when we go back to Warriors Guild, we are now 86 attack squadron, so let's get 87 next, and then I think we'll go back to strength for just a little here, guys. This is super fast, tracker says 2.5 mil, I was hoping it would update to a little more.
because we are using the imbued berserker ring which gives us at least one strength uh, um, max it 87 attack 119 combat we are going to switch over to strength because we actually do get extra max hits using strength here. It's not like staking where your max hit just maxes out at 97. For special attacks and stuff, we gotta... Oh, 1,000 charges left. We gotta be using, uh, you know, we gotta be having the strength levels for sure. As we just went ahead and bought 1,000 more charges. And yeah, it was like 3,000 blood runes, but now we have 1,760. 67 more charges. We're going to use these all at uh, this place now because why not? We need the XP. We need the XP. 98 strength. 1.2 mil until the next level. The home stretch. I know I say this a lot, but this is the actual home stretch for strength. Let's go. Let's go. 2.5 mil XP per hour. Almost 88 attack here coming up, guys. Not bad. However, we do have to go get to more tokens in about 30 minutes. 1.1k charges left, so don't have to get like a probably s probably don't have to get a thousand tokens, but we'll get it. We'll just get a thousand tokens in case we go got uh, want to go back here or anything. 88 attack. We are now weighing in at 119.7 combat, guys. Let's go. Next combat, I think we're 120 combat, so hey. We'll be higher than most uh, players. We already are kind of higher than most uh, players in the combat range, but hey. 289 tokens. XP till 99 strength. Uh, my And I have like less than a thousand. I have about a thousand charges left on my scythe. My ADHD wants me to go get a freaking warrior token so I can do the whole thousand charges, you know, in one trip. So hey. You know, I think we'll just go ahead and get our 99 strength maybe getting tokens, but probably not. We'll, we'll probably get like 250k XP. Uh, the tokens are pretty slow XP, but hey, we do have full rune here that we can add. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to use our Torag hammers because um, it's just a waste of side charges. You're not going to get that, boo that boost on like monsters that the scythe gives. So it's it's really not it's really kind of a waste to use the scythe on the uh, war the animated rune armors. Okay, guys, ten thousand and fifty, just about ten thousand fifty charges or uh, tokens. That should be enough for one long trip inside of here, guys. So let's get like ten prayer potions and uh, just some comment pots, and we are ready, guys. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Fortunately, the looting pad doesn't work in here, but that's fine. No, we don't need the, the hides or the ice axe, so. Okay, squad, I do plan on staying here a little longer, so I am going to be buying some more charges. <clears throat> we have a bunch of loot saved up, so we'll just be selling this in the GE. Except one rune set. You know what I mean? We need one, at least one rune set for the armors, but this should be enough for a bunch more blood runes. Twice, which is scary because I had to run back here twice, which is through freaking PvP area, but we are fine, guys. I figured, hey, let's get some more charges since we got that freaking drop, drop you know, the crossbow. So, 2,500 charges. We also have the full runes that, that we forgot to buy. 2,000 more blood runes, 20 prey pots, we have enough staminas, I mean, uh, super comments for, to stay here for so freaking long, guys, so hey, we can camp here for days here, guys. well, not really, but we're gonna camp here maybe till like, 95, is this enough for, like, 99, guys? There you have it, guys, 120 combat, 99 strength, no freaking way, no freaking way. Alright, quickly, attack, train attack. So now we have just like 9 mil XP, less than 9 mil XP, the final countdown, guys, you know what I mean? We're going to have to switch the tax styles, 120 combat, the mass combat is 126, all we need is prayer, if we want to finish it off, but that, I don't know how to pray, I'd like train that, bro. Can you still do it in the houses, guys? <laughs> Not sure, but yes, yeah, not really uh, needed. 
No, I always see it. Alright guys, just hit 90 attack. Now we have... Only... Or actually, 89 attack. We only have 10 attack levels left. Okay squad. Let's get a bunch of tokens next. As... <clears throat> I want to have a big supply of tokens. That way we can just camp in there. Come back out when we're like 90 freaking fire or whatever. So we're going to get like 1,000. 500 tokens I think because we have like 2,000 charges but yeah dur during training that whole time look at my freaking Torx hammer hammers guys like they're only 75 I have not died uh, since that one death like two days ago so that's very good however I just don't enjoy getting attacked there guys it's super annoying guys so we're gonna definitely uh, train up here but we are gonna go back there and train up as to make our money back here guys so we will return though. Hey okay, guys, we just accumulated 1,800 tokens. Now we bank the rune. And we gear up for a long camp at the uh, Cyclops. This shouldn't take too long though. You know, 2 mil XP per hour. But yeah, it's going to take a while. Because we have 90 strength coming right up. Next hit probably. Come on. Ooh, let's go. 120.675 combat. Not bad, not bad. How many charges left? 2.4k. Oh, they're go going kind of quick. The charges go quicker than, a little bit quicker than the tokens if you're always attacking them, by the way. So that's why I got a little bit less tokens. From nap, had some chores I had to do. Just about to get 91 attack. Hope everyone's doing good. Oh, there we go, 91 attack. 121 combat. Woo, I think we maxed out at 123 right here if we, um get all 99 so that's too, that's awesome that's only only three combats off the maddest combats guys obs crashed let's see if we get attacked we gained 300k xp we gotta go make the run and uh freaking hopefully not die here so good luck us great Okay, we are good. Oh wait, hold on. We just gotta tick eat the bruise, I think. There we go. <laughs> GG. When you're carrying a 13 mil size. Uh, man. Things can happen like that, man. I knew someone was gonna be there. Get triple eats out, thankfully he didn't have like a corrupt vo well he did have a void waker. We started triple eating when the void waker came out. Didn't have to use a second triple eat. Uh because uh I don't know. We we just got too high HP. But yeah, and make sure you just like, you know, bring triple eats, bring a good amount of brews there guys. You don't have to tank too many steps, like 25, 30 steps, maybe twenty steps, but with how much DPS you could do in this game with like aggression, definitely bring that stuff guys. Anyways, let's go finish up. Let's go max out in this game. Guys, just about to hit 93 attack. Let's go take a small break guys. OMG, bank these defenders. 1.2k tokens left still. 1.7k charges. So the charges kind of go quick squad. Charges kind of go quick. However, we're only six levels off and about six mil XP off, so that's around a little bit more than two hours of training here with the uh, scythe here. So, give or take, that's like two thousand or, or so charges. So we have enough for ninety-nine, I think. What's up, guys? Quick update: another seven hundred K XP gained and ninety-four attack. Let's go! Let's go! Only need about five more XP left. 5 mil more XP left and then we are at 99 however we only have 1,300 charges left so this is not the best for us I don't think we have enough for 99 once again I appreciate everybody making dead man mode content 
uh, just some good stuff to watch while I'm while I'm watching. Uh, while I'm just training up and everything, even doing revs a little here and there. <clears throat> Much appreciated, guys. 200k to level. We're already getting 1.39 mil XP. Oh, well, there you have it, guys. 122 combat, 95 attack. Let's go. Four more attack levels. <laughs> Roughly like um, three million XP, a little bit less than three mil XP, four mil XP, two, uh, two point five, three point five, something around there. Mil XP less. So. Only nine other charges left, and we gotta run to the bank and get more prayer pots. But hey, this is this is super fast. Okay, guys, we gotta test that theory of fishing for sigils, making bank, guys. So we're actually going to bond up a second account. We're not gonna swap everything. We're just gonna see how much gold we can make on this second account, guys. So snap, you know, a second account. Maybe maybe we'll go bracket two, bracket three, bracket four. Or we'll just stay in bracket one, but hey, a second account, we gotta see how much we can make. And plus, you know, dude, everybody in this bracket has Gigamax. There's no way I'm gonna be able to make that much, like, uh, on this account, unless I, like, anti-PK somebody, which we are gonna, I guess, try. But, yeah, uh, currently, we're going to log into a second account, get it bonded, and, uh, try fishing or something. To make gold uh, as well you know it doesn't take long to ma max out account into the 50 bracket so let's see what we can do I'm bonded up and everything now we're gonna try a strat where we just go for the revenant caves right off the bat right off the bat so we're just trying to run there ASAP we don't have really any items that they start us out with again we don't really lose too much if we die we're not worried hey maybe we could just try a uh, wood cutting for sigils so that's what we're gonna try. Trying to get 10 inventory slots for this freaking starter pack. But yeah. Oh no, we don't have the fee for revs. That is true. Huh. Okay. Oh. I'll just start woodpitting then. And I'll think what to do. Okay, guys, different plan. We're just gonna go talk to the Vera guy in Lumbridge. And that will get grant us some free XP. And thankfully, the starter pack gave us like one freaking sigil for and 5k coins. We're just gonna go to the RD cage and train up, guys. Uh, not too worried about dying or anything. I, I don't know, guys. It's whatever. It's whatever. It we are just gonna get some combat levels right now, specifically HP. Use up our trainer staff. And our all of our arrows, you get two thousand arrows. You get like five hundred casts. Um, and we we picked the range sigil, so Yeah, the plan here is just to freaking make some money somehow, maybe with fishing or something guys, but yeah. Let's use up all our starter staff. We get a new starter staff every day. I don't know why we didn't start another account sooner. I guess we were just doing rep caves. It doesn't matter guys. Thankfully we can kinda run two uh, clients at once guys like so, so we are good we are good already combat level 15 not bad okay guys got, got a little stats mage range those are both un unrelated to tree gnome village which we're, we are going to do <laughs> guys i'm trying to figure out how to do uh, how to make gold we're probably gonna swap to get like one mil on this or a account or even more because <clears throat> This is just sad. Yeah, like, uh, super mad behind. I think we might turn this into a quick defense account. If we tr turn it into something else, I think it'll cost too much. So if we make it, like, a 60 defense, maybe tier bracket 3 build, we can make that, like, one day, guys. One day. But, yeah, all we have to do is swap, like, one mil. See what we could do here. We get agility levels from this. I think we might go agility pyramid if we could figure out how to go there, guys. And, uh, yeah. Once we unlock this, we can use the freaking tr the tree to teleport. So this is a must, guys. This is a must. We are safe sp spotting the boss again. A second time, guys. 31 minutes left on the protection. Guys, I'm trying to figure out what we should do next, though. I think we might just do Grand Tree or Waterfall. 
uh, let me uh, see. Guys, there you have it. 97 attack. Uh, I'm just gonna finish off these tokens and then mostly play the other account, guys. I mean, we're gonna try and merge it, actually. Screw doing, uh, revs. We're done with revs completely. It was so fun, though. I'm not gonna lie. It was worth it getting the agility. But next, we move on to the other account, mostly. Okay, squad, only four minutes left out of immunity. But, we're not done with the Grand Tree yet. I think we'll do a waterfall next, which may pose a problem here. But hey, hopefully we got it, hopefully we got it. Okay, guys, here's the thing. Swap rates are about 1.5 to 1 if I'm swapping DMN to OSRS. So it's like, dude, oh my is it even worth it? Is it even worth it, guys? Like, what do I even do? I'm trying to, I'm trying to merch at some items. Then I have my depot as I'm now in the safe zone on the main. And yeah, if you don't know how to save the zone this Boston Grand Tree, you stand right here, guys. OMG, we just got the sigil consistency drop. Guys. Oh, well, it's over 25k, but hey, we can imbue it. We can imbue it. And that is the giant demon down, guys. This will boost up our common stats a bunch. I mean, look, we're already 51 attack. <sighs> I think we might follow the same route to bracket 3, guys. I really want to go to bracket 3, maybe use Ice Blitz. I don't know, guys. I'm excited to just play Deadman mode again. I mean, this is one some once a year, guys. But now we must find the Dakona Rock. We're doing waterfall quest, but we forgot our, to buy that rope in a uh, freaking R dome, so we gotta run all the way over there and do that. I haven't seen any peak errors, but if somebody pulls up, I have like freaking 27 HP, so I could die easily. I don't know how I got defense levels, but I do have them. No, I think I was like long range. Oh snap, oh snap, white top. But we just finished waterfall quest. Now I think we might finish Monkey Madness. Uh, freaking one. On the next bracket, we would unlock Desert Treasure 2 automatically. So if we finish, finish Mo Monkey Madness 1, dude, we'll get Desert Treasure 2. Or Desert Treasure 1, guys. That's freaking huge. That's freaking huge. But I want to do this, this with, like, prayer levels, man. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of sad. But hey, 40, uh, we're almost in the next bracket, guys. Like, a few more HP levels. We're already 40 ranged. We used about only 500 shots of the freaking uh, bow here. So, hey, I'm just trying to brainstorm here. So, yeah, guys, you remember how Dex was going for 40 mil? <laughs> well, now, it's going for a lot less. I mean, uh, 20 mil. It's going for 40 mil now. So, it doubled in price, guys. It actually doubled in price. E combat. From the thingies, now all we have to do is go to the next bracket. We're not going to swap. I tried to swap. Nobody's freaking letting me swap. <clears throat> so now. We just go to the next bracket. We're going to do agility pyramid. And uh, make some bank. Because it's like 30k per pyramid, guys. So, cheers. Sell that sigil of consistency. Get some uh, freaking... Not much food. But we were able to get some food for this freaking... Pyramid that I hope we don't fall a ton on, bro. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like they don't even give us, sell us that much food. But I think we can get, we can pick up some food at that one spot in like Paul Event or whatever. So that's good. Oh wait, water skins, water skins. Do not forget the water skins squad. Okay, squad. Bunch of jugs of wines purchased. So hey. Definitely do recommend going to that spot. Now we have to go all the way over here, guys. So all the way around. See that? <laughs> okay, guys. You guys like my strat? 40 minutes of immunity, and we still have 120k. <sighs> I just have one thing though. Like, how the flip do I train up my account safely, guys? You know? You know? I might just go like Water Birth Island or something, dude. Like, it's gonna be hard. There's gonna be peak airs everywhere, guys. Um, I don't think the Warrior Guild is open for me just yet, so I'm not so, I'm not rich enough that I could just like you know buy gold to go PK, but 
I can make some stuff, something work out. Let me brainstorm. Hun from the freaking arena. I mean the, the, the pyramid plunder, but we did make a mistake. We did not collect all of our freaking pyramids and cash them in. So I only had three minutes of uh, immunity and we only had the... I had, I had to be quick here, guys. But we are 52 prayer. I already got like 200k in the bank, guys. Like, you know what I mean? I have a glory now. But I'm just wondering. I just don't know how to freaking trade on my account. So someone, please let me know. Oh, yes, bro. Finally. Okay, squad turned in the remaining four for 171k. Now, let's go buy a house, guys. Let's go buy a house. For that nice, awesome home teleports. You know what I mean? Probably gonna have to put the portals in it later, but that's fine. That's fine. Give me that house, it's only a thousand coins. Okay, let's do Monkey Madness now. The only thing we have to worry about this round is mostly PKers. <sighs> because we have overheads this time, bro. Last time we died like three times, raged so hard, lost like freaking an hour, so... Hopefully we can make up this time. I'm down for another run. I'm down for another run. We have silently completed Monkey Madness 2, or Monkey Madness 1, it took under an hour, and now all we do is switch on over to the next bracket world, our final bracket world we're going to be on, 71 through 90, and we got to go to town, we got to find out how, how to make money here guys, we're going to go rev caves and um, see how much money we can make as a starter. Back inside the revenant caves. Unfortunately, I freaking forgot my starter bow and or as a starter sword. I'm super sad. Let's let's hopefully get some uh, drops with this 200 cast we have. But we can't really uh, kill off anything else except the imps here, guys. Yet I couldn't even take out an imp, but somebody helped me finish off, and then he got PK'd. So we got a double rune kite. We got all the gear. Thankfully you helped me finish off the freaking pyrofiend because I cannot finish off the imp by myself guys. So now that we have the bracelet, we're using a ranged sigil with this so we're, we should be able to take off the imp by ourselves with just a ranged sigil. It's finally done with the protection guys. We went the rev cave method and look, 350, dude, we make more money at the rev caves than you make at uh, the agility pyramid or just about the same. 557k in the bag. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I gotta have a break. We just played for like three hours straight. You know, this isn't much gold, but we're gonna use this to strategize, guys. So maybe we're gonna. Uh, if we just get something like rare, like a rare sigil woodcutting or something, guys, we could, you know, build up this account how we want to. Okay, guys, now we can test. What everybody's saying is the greatest money maker, guys, or one of the greatest money makers, chopping trees, guys. You know, let me get, let me get some, uh, let me get the sigil aggression or something. You know, that would be great. That would be great. Frick, though, I don't want to die. I don't want to get BK, man. Guys, so we ended up sleeping in a little because you know they've been messing with us physically. So cheers. This has been uh, day number seven, I believe, already, man. Seven more days. Maybe a little less left. What's up, man? So I have to continue the 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 the. the I have to continue the day tomorrow, guys. Actually, not tomorrow. I will start up the next episode right after. We're going to continue until this is done, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. This has been uh, Day 7. Or 6.